Mind drops, mind drops. Today we're going to be working on the heads of the dragon for their shape. Trying to mind drops, mind drops. Figure out. Today we're going to be working on the heads of the dragon for their shape. Where am I doing this from? I think I figured it out. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> morning. Good morning. I'm doing great. I uh, had a little mix up there. <laughs> All right. Here we start again. Okay. I'm going to be doing the heads on the dragon for their shape. Um, I've been debating in my mind what kind of shape I want to do for them. But I really haven't figured it out yet. I got a couple of references up here. Kinda. I like the kind of dragon that's got points on its head, sticking back. But yeah, I'm pretty excited. T today was a pretty good day, though. I uh. Got stuff taken care of outside, chickens and stuff, and got on a little bit late, but that's all right. Oh, let me see here. Oh, maybe it's where my microphone's at. Is that better? Is that a little bit better there? Might be where it's positioned. I don't have anything else changed on it. Yeah, I've been kind of moving the stuff around in here a little bit. Okay, so get this up here, move it down a little bit. So this is the one that's kind of gonna be getting hacked up. So I was kind of thinking, still, I want to have his mouth open. You know. But it's gonna be. A, let me see here how I really want to do this. Kind of was just thinking about maybe like getting the shape of the eyebrows and all that in there. I think that'd probably be the best thing to do. Gonna be. Breaking into another box of clay today. So that's three. That'll be on my fourth one, I think. One, two, three. Yeah, well, three. Three and a half right now. Yeah, I'm not going to do all the detail on it. I'm just going to kind of get the shapes right now. And then I want to kind of get it somewhat situated so I can see how it's going to hold it up I kind of got the neck where I want it I'm going to adjust some of the muscles on the chest still a little bit because I really don't like this part right here I want to kind of thin it out like the other side let me thin it looks looks too much like breasts right now I don't want to make it more even I guess but I'm not too worried about that part right now that can be something I can do later on How's your guys' morning going? Elizabeth? Mother mother of three kiddos, you guys having a good morning? Get rid of this text there. There we go. Not working on that right now. French toast sticks, mm, that sounds good. 
Do you make your French toast like homemade? With like nutmeg and stuff added into it? That's that's how I make mine. It's so yummy that way. A little bit of vanilla, some nutmeg. A little bit of... I don't really have to put any cinnamon, but can. But, oh, I love French toast. Especially when it's French toast from chickens that you made have the eggs from. Super quick frozen ones. Yeah, they're still good, though. You got kids. You got to worry about that. All right. Skin. Some of this tenderized so it's easier to work with. All right. So. I have been thinking about this the last two days. Yesterday was nice. Nice and relaxing. Slept really good. Yeah, right? My my little chicks are getting so big, they're like, they're like, uh, I want to say, ten inches tall now, eight inches tall. Can't really try to show how big they are, but they're getting they're getting there. It's gonna be a while before they can go into general population though. So I think I'm gonna use a wire, a hard wire though. Yeah, I, I love the chickens. Yeah, I kind of get tired of taking care of them, but they're still fun. But I don't mind it, though. <laughs> 20 chickens and a rooster. Yeah, I got four hens and a rooster. And then I got my chicks are, I got nine baby chicks right now. Well, they're eight weeks old. I think that's what it is. April 1st, I got them. No. I know the jaw is going to need something in there to help it, the structure still. Because I want to have it open, but I don't want it to be all just clay. And the jaw down there isn't going to be open like the, the other jaw. Oh, that was a really good match on size. Need just a little bit smaller. Still. Yeah, this mouth isn't going to be open like the other one. The other one I want it to be like. But this one. I just want something there. I can use this then to put clay on to get teeth and stuff in there. I think I still need it to be just a little shorter. I'm not going to use this right now. I'm just setting it up so I don't got to deal with it later. A lot of times it's the planning. That takes, makes it easier. At least I feel it is. I figure then I could add clay to this and get teeth in there and then get teeth in there and then hopefully put them together and then it'll be closed and I could have some detail in it. At least that's what's going around in my head right now. But it's still got to be a little bigger too, I think, like the, the girth of the neck. I think still needs to be a little bit. 
much so I guess I guess it would still work out I think I just needs to be just a little bit bigger but this is really thin on here so I got a lot of room to grow there that's what we're gonna do first Yeah, this is going to be super cool. Well, thanks for stopping by, though. You have a good day, Elizabeth. I uh, was checking out your pictures of that crack, and it's super awesome. have to always remember how much I'm adding on so that when I go onto this side to make sure it still fits right. I'm glad I put that steel in there, steel wire. It's definitely gonna need it. One more time, I think. The same thickness is on the head of it, too. It's really thin. It's only like a sixteenth or so. I hope you have a good day too, Elizabeth. Yeah, this thing's gonna be so cool. I wonder what our Monday thing's gonna be next week. I'm trying to think of some suggestions, but. I really like that mob boss guy. That guy was cool. Plus, this way I'll have enough uh, clay already on this part to do like the scale and stuff. Scale work. that's going to be kind of a pain. And this throat's got to be in here, so okay. push that in just a little bit. Yeah, the mob boss turned out awesome. I, uh, I'm curious what he's going to look like once I paint him. I still want to do like a little bit of work on his face, but he's like, I already took pictures of him for like the challenge or whatever, so I think I still want to touch up his face and make it look a little smoother. But I'm curious about painting him, how I want to do his, his like clothes and stuff. I was thinking about maybe making his armpits kind of dirty. Yeah, I'm gonna make a tongue in there. I think this one's gonna kind of have it kind of like maybe drooping, hanging down a little bit. Oh. And the other one's gonna, mouth's gonna be open, like it's getting ready to strike. I want to make sure I have enough like clay in here still. Yeah, there's not much in there where I can uh, have like a throat in here. I'm just going to take some of this out and then take the razor knife 
and cut some of that out in there, the aluminum foil. So it can go back a little bit farther. I, I think it needs to go back very farther. This might work. These are all wax carving tools. Oh yeah, there's aluminum in there. So there's wire in there, so I might have to cut through the wire. I might be able to push a little bit more now that I see it. Now I can kind of like break through it. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. There's too much of the shape of the tube too, because I make sure that fits in there still. I want it to be a pain to get them together. I'm more worried about getting the shape on it and then making sure that the neck can be held up. And then like figuring it out from that point what I want to do for detail. Because it's it's gonna be a lot, so it's gotta be like done in steps. Like the first step, armature, second step, covering it. Uh, you know, smoothing it out some so you can kind of get the good basic shape was, you know, after getting it covered. And then now is gonna be shaping out the, like the heads and stuff. The body, I don't think it's gonna be so much more because the, the head's gotta be like the most detail for it to have a face and stuff, you know? Be enough. Go back in there. Still build it up some. It is kind of a little thing though. So, I don't like, I don't know, I like the way Smog looks in Lord of the Ring or in Hobbit. And I kind of like, I don't know, not so much like the Oriental style, but I wish I could. Like, the dragon on the right. Hold on, let me. Yeah, like the one on the right kinda, like heads like that, but not so much. Yeah, it was nice yesterday. Uh, got a nice day of relaxing and I slept good. I worked on the blinkers in my fiance's car. I had to run to town. But, yeah, it wasn't bad. Could have been a lot worse. It was nice to sleep really late. I slept early and late. It was nice. I usually don't only get like five hours of sleep, so I got like eight yesterday. Something similar to Smog, but more like the European style dragon, you know. And it, he could, it could be a young dragon still. It doesn't have to be an adult dragon. I mean, size isn't that big compared to the guy. Like the guy's like would be six feet tall, and he's like twice as tall as him. So I would assume a dragon is like fifty feet tall. Well, yeah, the, the turn signal still works, but it just doesn't uh, 
blink right in the front. So, so I have to figure that out still. I think it's a relay. Next thing to try. But, so, got that part in there. I think I'm just going to cover that a little bit. So it has something in it. Maybe turn this a little bit thinner. So I'm going to probably just add stuff into the throat. So I'm not really too worried about the thickness on it right now. I just want something in there. Top of that wire. Yeah, the pasta thing really makes it uh, easier to deal with it. I seen other people doing it, and I was like, oh, I better get one of them. And then the first one I got, I was putting the clay through it too thick, and I messed it all up. It was just, it was just a cheap one. And then I got a little bit better one now. Um, the, little one, the one I got now is the first time I went to Bed Bath & Beyond, I think it was. I was like all giddy while I was in there looking at all the cooking things. Oh my god. That was crazy. I got all excited. I didn't know I could get excited about looking at cooking utensils and cooking stuff. Yeah, like put that up in there and be a jaw. I mean, I don't want it to look like a dinosaur, but right now it's going to kind of have that look to it. Yeah, I was so excited at Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh my gosh. That was so weird. I, I got like kitchen utensil drunk, I think, is what it would be called. <laughs> it was so hilarious. People are looking at me all funny. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. But you see all the things you can use, and then like me being somewhat of an artist, I see all these things I can use other things for. And it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like a sens sensual overload. Vegetable spiraler. I've seen them. Kind of like a, kind of like a peeler for like uh, apples. Isn't that kind of like that? Veggies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Veggies into noodles. So, I don't want to have him have a beak on him. Like this other one kind of had a beak on it. I didn't really, didn't really care for that. Oh. But yeah, that would be it'd be awesome to have one of those. That's what we should do. We're trying to eat healthier and stuff. Can you just take like a zucchini then and make it into noodles like that? So I want to do that. Yes, this is pretty cool still. It's gonna take a little bit to get this guy's shape right. I'm just trying to find some reference pictures. I'm not really trying to find them. I have them there, but I'm just kind of looking at them. Really, I guess you know, you could kind of have like a beakish, a beakish shape, you know. Here, we're just gonna start 
putting some stuff on him. I want to get the basic area where it's going to be in. Still want to use those eyes. But now I can start finding out what size of them I can use. Carrot noodles? I bet you that'd be good. Do like cucumbers and stuff then too like just have cucumber spirals any veggies huh Squash, huh? Yeah, I bet you those things will work too. I mean, they make like those like chips or whatever out of stuff like that, don't they? So why wouldn't it work for them too? So the basic shape for that part. Now we're gonna... See, I already kind of have like a style for the, the skin that's on my knight. I'm kind of wondering if I should just do that for the top of their their heads. Just a little bit more clay ready. I like the blocks of these. They're just a little bit thinner than the sculpty. And I can like cut my little exacto knife into it. Almost perfect. So not worry about breaking apart. Well, that one I didn't cut thick enough. But it works out really good. And this stuff's pretty fresh too. I just got it like a couple days ago. Like works really good. I just run through one or two, one or two times, and then it seems like it's enough to let me work with it. So. so I don't know if I'm gonna have to put wire in it or man, how I end up. I'm just gonna do a couple trials here first before I actually decide what I'm gonna do. Cause I kinda clueless right now exactly how I wanna go about making the the flail kind of thing. I'm gonna come off his head. Good enough. 
Let's put it through the Boston machine on higher. Yeah, that would be better. Double this up, maybe. And get like a piece out of it. So I'm gonna put like a flail, kind of like coming off. I think. I think I can kind of like cut off most of it. Uh, it'll give me some clay to work with. I wonder if maybe I do want to put a piece of wire through. So kind of, I almost want to put a piece of wire in that. Even if it was just a thin one. Give me something to work with, kind of, where it would go. I think maybe I should do something like this, but have it have another one. And then... Shape yet. Let's get some more. Box of eyes. Where's the big one? Oh, it's right in front of me. It might not be big enough, actually. Big enough. Wants to get closed in and stuff. Like, yeah, it's not gonna be big enough. I have to do the do all the guys without any eyes. Just make them. That's what I have to do. Yeah, the eyes are cool. I have some other ones that could make my own I guess if they're bigger it would be easier I got these for the cat clock I want to make but no these ones might be big enough to make my own uh, that might be the right size right there Able to cover up. You know that one might be the right size. Yeah. So I might have to paint my own eyes. Let's see how that works out. Maybe I have to do that tomorrow. Like get the basic shape I want. And do a little paint session tomorrow on some eyes. Yeah, and I can choose what color I want too. You know, I paint the center part first. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think you talked me into it. Those are too small, so. It'd be tedious to do, but. At least then we can just do the basic shape on here. Or I could always at least put some there for a placeholder. If not put the detail around the eyes and we can get the position a little bit better.
And I almost would rather want the eyes to be able to put them in right away and not have to deal with it. I feel like it's just gonna would be extra work. And maybe then I can make these ones a little bit cloudier. Well, that changes the plans today. Maybe I should just go and head and just do the eyes right now, you know? Yeah, that's the other thing too. They should be close to the same. Maybe one red eye and one green eye in each one. If I paint the eyes now, then I can be situated a little bit better. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. I think we're just going to paint the eyes right now. So I can just drop the box down and not really have to worry about getting all the stuff out, you know? I just got to get, I got some water already. I just need the little palette things. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I almost feel like I can't really move on to the head if I don't have the eyes for it, you know? Sorry for the change up. Smarter to do it this do it this way. Okay. I'm gonna have to take a minute and go wash my hands and stuff. Cause uh I got like the oils from the paint and stuff like that. Or from the uh clay. And I'll need to get a couple things piece of cloth to put down, paper towel. Um, I'll leave this on, but I'm gonna put this be right back thing up. It'll probably take me like three minutes or so.
seem to get what it takes to regret and trace back my steps. I'm about to break me. I'm about to break me. One cut just to bleed me, God guaranteed. Let's all place your bets. Cocaine reflects the prison, the reward. As the moments pass, not a single breeze that could reach me to make it feel like any of this is meant to be real. So fake, now that I could take what I adored. What you gave was a gas to fill Queen of the Shades mm-hmm. I need a jar of pills to play your charades And it's really glow strong, reflection fades I lose myself in the midnight haze All things gone wrong Should be ready I don't belong <laughs> Oh wait, okay All right, so I'm gonna do this a little different, I think. Normal stream. I'm gonna okay. take this and put it right above it. The prison, I don't know if that's gonna as the let you be able to see it. Not a that could reach me no. To make it feel kind of weird doing it. I don't really have like a technique yet for this, but. I figure if I use double side tape, I can put it down in this board here. You can see these are my trials. They didn't turn out very good. These are way too tiny. I didn't have a really small brush at the time. But this is going to be bigger, so this will be a lot easier to do. So I figure I put these on here. I'm going to need to do four. Give me a little practice for the Fisher Cat Clock. Let's see if they held. Yeah. Okay, now I need to get the brushes. Now, first of all, I gotta do the the eyeball center, the part first, the black part. So it's kind of crucial to get the black part to be like center and straight. And I don't want too much of my fingerprints to be on them. So let's see. They're still on there. Yeah, the clock will be after the whole dragon. It's going to be the upper body of the dragon. I'm going to do a Kratos um, in God of War. And then I'm going to do the bottom half of the dragon. And then there's probably going to be a sculpt somewhere like after that. And then the clock will be after that. So it's a while still, but I got the parts for it. I got the pendulum clock piece and I got the uh, wood for the backing already. So kind of excited about that too. I don't know exactly how big I want to make it yet because it's got to match the eyes I got. But it'll still be cool. I'm still excited either way. Okay, so I need to find the black shiny. Oh, 
brushed. There's a metallic black in here somewhere. It's the plain black. Sequin black. That's the one I'll use. Um, no, um, probably the ticking. I don't know from the pendulum. I don't know if it, what the actual pendulum sound like. Because it's just going to be like one of those Felix the clock. Felix the cat clocks. At least that's what I'm going to try to shoot for. I think the mechanism is going to be the the hardest part. So most of these other eyes have like just a slit mainly. So it's kind of the same thing we're going to do. We're just going to do like a like a slit in the center. Oh, this paint's not going to go on here. Really I need to shake this up. Or I just need to use a flat. Not a metallic, use a gloss. Might be better. Yeah, I'm a big cat fan too. I uh I miss my kitty. He uh he was cool. Mr. Bear is awesome. Mr. Bear's been really, really, really sad because I've been Neglecting his lap time and his throne, so he uh, hasn't been getting all that time that he normally would have. He's been doing this. Feels so bad for him. I'm just gonna put like the first layer down and then come back over it. Make it a better size and shape. I mean, I'm, they're probably not going to be perfect because you know I'm not a not no professional. This is the first time I've done this with eyes, so it might take me a try or two. That one's already too wide. Yeah, the, the black part first. And then when you flip it over, you'll, uh, it'll look like it's more defined, the center of it with all the color going around it. Somewhat the same. I guess, you know, it's it's going to be on my shelf here, so I don't have to be too anal about how perfect it is. But if it was going to somebody else, I think I'd be a little bit more worried about how perfect it is, you know. But I guess it's one of those things. Really hard to look at too because there's like a glare. I don't know what it looks like on there, but it actually doesn't look too bad on screen. But for me, I got like a big glare. It's all these lights. I wonder if, I wonder if any of these off would help. Do you know? No, oh, it's like there's like a shimmer because it's glass. Like, from the other side of it. Whatever. I'm 
see if I can drag it better than I can. point on it. These are going to get a lot wider than what they are. It's already moving. There's a sticky spot there for it. There we go. Go back to this one now because it's dry. know if there's like would be a better paint to use for something like this I would assume that like a better quality paint would probably be with a smaller pigment you just can't over can't over paint it when you're working with glass it's like it doesn't want to doesn't really want to stick to it. Yep, yep. I'm playing back sides, so and then when you see it on this side, now it'll be even uh, magnified a little bit because the glass is round. And then at the end, I'll put like a good good layer over it so that there's something kind of protecting all the different colors. And I think you can use some of those dragon colors and streak them out because they're kind of clear. That's why I use this uh, piece of plexiglass too because then I can kind of see my work as I go. Otherwise, it'd be kind of like I don't know how it looks yet, so I have to like wing it, you know? I'd rather see see how it is a little bit. probably even take a a little tool and like screw up oh no that ain't gonna work huh. it ain't gonna work you already screwed it up there we go there we go let that dry a little bit I think I just need to squirt a little bit of this onto the thing so I don't ruin the whole bottle Yeah, I figure, you know, maybe the, the shimmery color it's gonna be maybe like maybe like this one. Could use some of that one in it. It's hard to get the no glare. And then there's like a, a couple like color shifting ones I got here. They're like a little bit of red and a little bit of blue, some green. Green, green would be cool. The, this green color shift right here is cool. It's like a blue green. We got some, got some choices. Is that exposure kind of, kind of really white? Yeah, all that white stuff. Yeah, that's gonna go on some of the dragon scale scales. I haven't really figured out the whole color scheme, but I'm thinking like green on top and like fading into like maybe a little like blue green on the top and then fading into like a brownish color on the bottom. And on his underbelly would be like a little bit, maybe like a lighter up the neck and stuff. With the hint of the, the bluish color in it and stuff, you know, that isn't very dry, so it's really hard to get to stay on it. So, we'll have to come back to this one. I, I really haven't painted these eyes before, so this is still kind of like a a first time trial thing. I mean, I did those other ones, those little ones, but 
that's really tiny. I didn't really know how it was going to turn out. I thought it'd be cool to like make your own eyes. <laughs> yeah, the color shifting ones would be perfect for the scales. I, I'm going to look and try to see if I can find some other colors too because I've I only got a couple of them. There's actually like another brand that's like a better brand of acrylics that have like an iridescent set. And I was thinking about getting those, but I just didn't want to spend more money. I already spent enough money on stuff. I went from sculpting to painting. I wasn't even thinking about painting today. Wow. After I seen that, I need the eyes, though. I mean, it just... It's a no-brainer, you know? Could also grab the blow dryer and try to dry them a little faster instead of the heat gun. Even a heat gun, I bet you the heat gun would dry these things really quick. Oh, I got some package here. UPS was here. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. They're, uh, even if they're not going to be like totally perfect, I, I'm, I'm going to like the fact that I made them, you know, like that's going to be cool in itself. The, the night doesn't have any, um, glass eyes in them, but I do like. I want to stay on most of my sculpts being a ten inch sculpt, so I found these little tiny colored eyes that I think are gonna be like the perfect size for a regular ten inch sculpture. So like, I think any of the sculptures I do will have a set of eyes in them that'll actually work for the scale. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna make it even cooler that knowing that, you know. I, I I do like having the eyes and stuff for I wanna do some other things too. I've been hee hawing about starting an Etsy and making some things and trying to sell some things, but I don't know if I'm quite ready for that yet. That's a little bit more dedication there. But just to see, you know. Oh, they're gonna be cool.
I just can't seem to get this side here to get rid of that little bumpiness it's got. I think when I do the clock, that'll be really cool, making a clock from scratch, like, well, not from scratch, but like, you know, putting a mechanism in it and figuring all that stuff out, I think would be really fun. Just the whole, having like a, a functional thing, making a functional, piece would be really cool. Then maybe someday I'll make a cuckoo clock that'll be really annoying. I know I'm going over them a bunch with this black, but I'm trying to make sure that it is kind of straight. I mean, I'm not doing the greatest job. Maybe I need to get a little bit smaller brush. so cool kind of concentrating right now like a lot trying to get it to kind of match each other from side to side too Yeah, this should be pretty cool. I mean, this one's a little straight. So was that one. I just gotta let them dry for a second before I try to do anything else to them because it's like not adhering right. Let's 
So I gave that uh, um, Rancor to my friend. And uh, somebody else was there that had seen the pictures of it. And he couldn't believe how small it was. He thought it was like twice the size of what it was. Couldn't believe that it was only five centimeters. Like, I don't think people really realize how small five centimeters is. Like, yeah, he was pretty excited. That was pretty cool. The, um, that scale of that just blows my mind. I mean, like, you, you watched me make it, so you've seen, like, the, the whole process of how small it was. I mean, it just, it's still... I'm still dumbfounded on how how I made it, you know. Okay, I think that the black is pretty much done now. So I was thinking maybe the the one set of eyes should have a little bit of red in it. Yeah, it did come out really good. Like it's still I just even that mob boss, like, I'm surprised, like, how much things are turning into what I want them to be. Like, I wouldn't have realized that it would have been progressing as fast as it has been. But I guess I've been kind of sculpting, like, every week now for a while, so. It's January. February. Okay, so the... I think I'm gonna do the left ones are gonna be the head that's getting chopped off. I think that's what I'm gonna decide on. Uh, they're gonna have, I have a little bit of red. Lipstick red maybe. Yeah, lipstick red. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of it just to add some little streaks to the eye. I mean, his head is getting chopped up on that side, so maybe if I, on the outside of it, we just put a couple little wigglies. These are gonna be so cool. I'm already excited. I I usually start getting excited when I mean I don't know if you've noticed, like I start getting excited when I really like how something's turning out. Like it like animates me. I don't know what it is. So funny. I'm really starting to notice it when it happens. But it's so it's so fun, so funny. <laughs> you can't help it, you know. I guess if you didn't like what you were doing, I guess you wouldn't get excited and animated from it, you know. Uh, I think the one thing I'm not totally jaded over is doing art <laughs> for some reason. That's enough. Let's see what the other side looks like. Oh yeah, that'll be cool. Yeah. I almost think maybe I should have a little bit more on it. It's the side that's getting heads getting chopped off. Dollar Tree scissors.
consoles that want to unlock to cut off that one thread. He's gonna be so awesome. Yeah, he could get you too. Yeah, like. I get anxious, like, I don't know why, and I know I'm doing it, I'm making it, like, I don't know why I get anxious. It's like, hurry up, I want to see what it looks like. It's going to be so cool. the tip on it and it like actually messed it up a little bit. It'll show up really good on the other side. I think these other ones should have like a little bit in it. You know, just just a little flick of it around the edges. see it but once there's another color there might really be able to see it then Yeah, just a little bit, you know, I mean, it's, they should both be under just under stress from the head of getting chopped at. Okay, now, do I want to do them like a brighter green, darker green? What about doing like a greenish color for the eyes? Mixing the, the color shifting colors in together. Maybe a little hint of yellow in the center. It's a 
seal here. Clear of gloss. That and I think I'm gonna use the satin one. Just a little tiny bit right around the inside of the eyes. Take your time too, you know. Wanna rush it? Okay. Yeah, that's cool. This double sided tape on here because it really, really, really makes a difference. If I didn't have that, it'd be so hard to do this. So tough. Having to hold it in your fingers? Oh my gosh. I could probably make a. Yeah, right. I... <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be awesome. I think I might appreciate it a little bit more that I made the eyes now too. I mean, it's not that I'm not gonna appreciate it, but just saying. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so now we're gonna let that yellow dry just a little bit. Tell it, I almost want to use this turquoise color too. It's like a Topaz, maybe the those three colors blended together. <coughs> I think this like glaze stuff is like thin. I wonder if I could put that on the eyes too, somewhat. It's like a greenish color glaze, green. I wonder if I put that down a little bit and then do the other colors on top of that. How that would look. I think that would look cool. Yeah, these colors are pretty amazing. Like, all these colors. Like, this is a cool, a cool, like, metallic green. This is a color shifting green. It's got like a turquoise color to it. And this is another metallic turquoise color. So maybe if I do streaks going outward with this on the, on the very bottom of it. So now this would be on that part. Yeah, I think that'll work out. I think it'll work out. We're gonna try that. I mean, just trial and error anyways. If I have to 
go back and redo them or something, then I'm going to have to go back and redo them. It's not really that big of a deal. Although it's, you know, 40 minutes of painting. Ugh, stretch my back some here. Hunched over. This is cool. This is so cool. They already look pretty wicked. Can't see this one as good because there's like uh, fingerprints on that tape. Maybe I should. I don't want to touch them too much. Move them to somewhere that's cleaner. Thanks. Yeah, they're definitely turning out. It doesn't take too long for that paint to dry either. Like, I should probably start doing it here in a second. I'm not too worried about these colors being too wet, blending together. Well, maybe I want to be more dry for this to go on it. Yeah, I'll probably be a lot happier if these are all the way dry. <laughs> now, this glaze stuff, I think I just want to put like a light coat on it. I don't want it to like... Yeah, I need a softer brush than that. I need something that's not gonna affect that too much. I have some other acrylic brushes here that have like softer tips on them. Here, yeah, this one will work. I got some nice finger grabbers on them. Alright, so maybe I'm just gonna do one eye for, or one set first with this and see what it looks like. Kinda worried about it. Like, ruining it. Oh no, that'd be perfect. That'd be super cool. Maybe like glittery kind of. see too much of this right now because it's just like mildly glittery yeah I'll put something black behind it a second here I don't know how much the camera is actually picking up on it but I, I can see it really good I wonder if I should do the one with this color eye um, glaze and then the other one with the other color eye glaze. Glazed. I think the other one's like a purplish color. Oh yeah, that'd be cool on the other colors added to it. <laughs> Plus I haven't tried this before so I don't know how it's actually gonna work like how it works together that's why i'm kind of taking it easy the first time through and then now i'm kind of used to it so i'm not too worried about how it's gonna affect it i think i want to do the other one too but i want to do the other one with the other color i think that will make a difference all together This one's like a green, the other one's like a purple. There's another one too, I thought. I don't think I have the other one. I think I can. Oh, oh it's the same. I think I kept on buying the same. Oh, here's the other one. It's like a gold. Gold, red, violet. 
Blue, green, red, violet, gold, violet, red, red, gold, violet. Huh. I think there's one more too, but they don't carry it at my Walmart. Yeah, it'd be cool having them two different colors. Just that glitteriness. I think that'll make it uh, differentiate between the two. You already see the difference. One's got like a goldish hint and the other one's got like a goldish green and this one's got like a purplish blue. Shifting green. Oh, it's all good. I'm still, uh, <laughs> that knife go. Oh, there it is. Gotta make sure I use the exacto knife to open up these things. Don't put a little tab on it. Like things used to have. Okay, so we're gonna use the color shift first. Shake it up just a little bit. Try to use three different brushes here. Oh, stuff stuck to it. That wasn't good. mess. Well, I'm opening all these up and I didn't even put any paint on the top of the can, the lids. Well, this one is kind of better. You can see this one. Whatever. One day I'll sit down and just do it with all the things. Let's see it better. Alright. They're all going to get painted with these colors. So I'm just going to do like do like streaks. Um, this stuff doesn't take very good. It's really thin feeling. The brush. It's all right. It'll still work. Might just have to put it on a little thicker.
It might actually make it better that it's not sticking to it very good. Because then as I layer it up. Yeah, it's really, really thin going on. It like it doesn't want to. Oh, that, that was thick, but might actually be all right. That it's doing that. It's the color shifting color. Having that like. We'll see. But I don't ruin it with this. There's been an awakening. Have you felt it? Yes. There's something more. All a learning process, you know? The metallic paints are like a lot thinner. They don't have so much, they don't really hold to it very good. But it'll still turn out cool, either way. As long as I layer them up a little bit and like, too much of this on here but then I also don't want to not have enough to like have it do the color shift it's like a part of it I don't know how it's going to react not having a whole lot on it shifting in there. I'm gonna put the dark green and metallic green on it right, now. So it just doesn't it has enough. Doesn't look like it has enough. coming out. I, I think they're turning out. I mean, it could be a little bit better, but I think let's get the other colors on it. Let's start turning out a little bit more.
trying to make them look like they're full two of the color spots because I'm not going to be able to do it again. This is the first time I've done it too, so it'll be uh, cool to see how it turns out using these paints. I have some uh, enamel paints too that I could use for eyes, but I almost think it just takes getting it on there. Oops. shifting color there it is couldn't find where my thing was at first you want to kill me now you want to kiss me blow yeah these are cool Yeah, the other ones are way too small. I don't know what size this exactly is, but this size was too small. 12 millimeter was too small. I thought 12 millimeter would have been big enough, but I think these are more like. I am a slave. I think these are more like. I am a slave. 20, almost 20 millimeter, or 20. Two centimeters, which would be, yeah. Two millimeters. Huh? What's the difference here? Yeah, so I thought centimeter, millimeter. That one had millimeter marks on it, just don't look at it. One said millimeter, one said centimeter. I like the same. Okay, so the dark green. It's a uh, Christmas green. It must be for ornaments. It'd be cool to make ornaments. Yeah, 100 messages. <laughs> Yeah, it's just been us pretty much in here. And uh, what's her name for a little bit? Um, Elizabeth. That's crazy. I wonder if it counts it from the other day. Okay, this green is... Pretty bright green. It'll be cool behind that turquoise color. So this one here. Make sure they're dry all the way. It is kind of thick on there. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. Alright, here we go. stuff on pretty thick for this color. I'm only going to put that turquoise on the edges. So cool, just 
how making something yourself can change what you're doing. I don't know, it's neat. It's been really relaxing for me lately. Getting rid of some of my therapeutic stress. Yeah, it's Christmas green. This one is uh, the actual color. I think I might get like the ornament color set. They have like a set that's like eight of them. It's eight or six that has all ornament colors in it. Is it over good for eyeballs? Could, couldn't imagine not being able to see the other side of it. Yeah, he can make some really cool, awesome ornaments. Like, it'd be so cool. But it's just so time consuming too, you know? I really want to learn how to like cast my stuff so I could make some things like that. Have a couple copies of them. Make a chess set. Christmassy vibe to the color. Reminds me of like a Christmas tree. Christmas tree green. So cool. Yeah. And that turquoise will go over the rest of the clear spot. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Got it dry for a second. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's crazy. They turned out really good. Okay, let me uh, do the focus a little better. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that crazy? Super cool. That yellow really, really makes it pop, having that around the center. Pop! Makes it pop. I gotta fix that now. Sweet spot, where you at? Right about there. Right about there. Right about there. Totally cool. Yeah, like big time. I'm glad I decided to make the eyes. It's gonna really make the 
his eyes have a little bit of a shine to him. And then I can kind of maybe on the side that's getting like hacked up, I can maybe touch it up with like some uh, of that pearl color and like put it over the eyeball on the outside so it looks like it's kind of getting glazed over a little bit or like like glossing over. Not glossing, but clouding, clouding over. Turned out pretty cool. I'm glad we did this. Yeah, cool. Oh. It does hurt my back a little bit, hunched over, because I actually have to hunch over quite a bit to paint them. I just gotta wait for it to dry for a second. I guess I could do this really quick. It's gonna be a little noisy. I guess it's not too noisy, is it? I can't tell. Turn the heat gun on for a second. Make them dry. Dry a little quicker, maybe. Yeah. Works for me. Oh, you didn't hear anything? Wow, that's crazy. I guess I won't have to worry about that then. I was actually like two feet away from it, three feet away from it. I have like this. like this big gun thing at like you can use that with the clay too to help the clay keep some of the the shape you want so like once I start working on the scales and stuff I'm gonna heat up some of the outside layer a little bit to help it that's crazy oh, at least I know this microphone works right then it's like a directional microphone all right this is gonna be the whole back side now or mix shakes up a little bit it's actually pretty clear doing the camera straight down like that I'm gonna have to do some line drawing drawing sometime I'm just gonna cover the whole back side of this with this turquoise. So I want like any little spot to kind of fill it in with it. Just gonna put it on nice and thick. Like makeup. War paint, that's what I call it. Oh, it's really hard to see that text on the screen. Well, I wasn't realizing that. And all huh. yeah um, it works out really good when I have it the, that white when I'm on the the background I have the black on it I could always change to like red or green or something.
I don't care for the color red, but I tend to use red a lot and like things. It just looks cool with like black and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, um, I have to go in the um, actual, I'm using Restream so, chat thing. Here, let me check the out ones. Appearance. Um, I had it changed to a different color because There was only two options, I think is what it was. Yeah, it was either you had it black or white, and it depend on the opacity that you made the box on the top of your screen. And I didn't want the box to be there when there wasn't any text. I think I'm, I'm gonna make like a template or something where you can just see like the whole screen that I'm working on on screen and then like a little box with my face on it and a little box with like pictures going on it and then like my social media things on it and keep the screen a little bit more cleaner yeah this blue color is really cool this is this blue color is just plain uh, blue topaz um, just just a plain blue topaz a metallic. It has really good uh, shininess to it. It looked pretty cool on the other side. I hope Just peeking through that green. I go and do two layers of it just to make sure it all gets covered. Dry enough. No, not quite dry enough. A lot of these colors are really like shimmery. Let's see how oh, it looks so cool. That turquoise in there like that really made it made it really pop out like big time like that. That's so cool. I'll have to get a, a little bit more of a technique to make eyes. Actually, pretty fun painting them. second layer yet. I think there's like a <laughs> I think there's like a treasure chest thing on here that I can open up at some point. Does it gotta get to like fifty or something for me to do that? I think so. Yeah. I know you can like give your lemons to people that watch your 
your your thing. I just haven't really like figured out any of that stuff on here. Honestly, I'm more into just the streaming part and just haven't run. Out. I didn't know I was gonna actually have more luck on on D Live than on Twitch for art. Alright, these eyes are, I think are done. So let them dry and I think I might want to put like some type of seal around it. I have this I wonder if this stuff is It doesn't say anything about heat or anything. It's just a polyethylene, polyurethane, ultra matte finish. I don't know if that would melt. I don't I think it might. Um, Actually, no, it doesn't take lemons away from me. Like I have this chest here that like fills up while there's people in your room. And then the creators can give them out. It's like the more viewers engage in your channel, the more lemons the chest accumulates. And then you can distribute them. I can put my own in there if I want and use them towards it. Which I think that's kind of neat. I didn't, I didn't know. I keep on seeing this here, but it's not open yet. I think it has to be open before I can distribute them. Well, it's kind of neat, like some of the stuff they got going on in here. It keeps you like a little bit more engaged. I started putting my stuff on Mines too. Trying that out instead of Facebook. I do have my stuff on Facebook though too, but I'm actually streaming on there right now. I think I must have played through all my music. It's for two hours and it stopped. Yeah, that's what it was. Yep. So this thing is all, these eyes are all done. I'm just gonna do a quick layer here on this backside with this. And then I think maybe I should let it dry and then do a layer of black over it. I don't know if that would help darken it. But yeah, I, I. That's why I really don't care for it. The only reason why I'm on Facebook is because I, uh, I have friends that are on there that I can share my stuff with, and another way just to have your your pictures and your art go out there, you know. Not too active in it. Yeah, the whole censorship stuff. I just that's why I don't like it. Kind of same way with YouTube in a way, but like the main place to stream stuff. One of the main places. Oh. I think we're... Got the eyes done. You know, I can't really do much now until these dry. That's 
kind of a bummer. It's already getting close to noon too. Yeah, these are gonna look awesome on there. Let me check out this one thing again. Yeah, there we go. Can really see them. Here, I'm, I'm gonna take one off. And... Oh, wow, look at it now. That's super cool. Turned out super cool. I'm glad I decided to paint them. Yeah, the colors worked out good too. I think because we're gonna do them in like a a green and blue and, and turquoise color like that, but not. It'll be darker. I think it'll work out good on. Them. Even have like a color sh shifting black too. Gray. <laughs> thanks, thanks. They're definitely uh, it was worth the uh, the effort to to do it. I think now that I now that I've done a pair of eyes, now I have a little bit of confidence in the eye thing. The little ones would be so much harder. But I think maybe if I had like a good quality of paint, it might make a difference, you know? But but I, I don't think I'm gonna stream much longer today because I really can't get too much more into it yeah definitely need a magnifying glass for little ones i think and and some better brushes that have a little bit finer tips i, I know i still want to make some because i got i got eight millimeter size here that i'd like to try that's these ones are, these ones on here are six millimeter so like that's super tiny i definitely need a magnifying glass and even on these ones like They aren't the best, but they still, they still don't look that bad, you know, like, for the first try. I think that's something that would be like a, a trial and error, a trial and error. Yeah, I figure t tomorrow will be a better day to get the start doing the heads I mean, we kind of got an idea how big we want the eyes and I, I want to have a want to have like a flare coming off it but I still want to put spikes on it too so we, I might want to make an armature to go on it but I'm gonna look at a couple more pictures too and kind of get a better look because I don't want his eyes on the side of the head I want his eyes more like they're looking forward Cause if you look at dragon pictures, a lot of times their eyes are kind of more like, like say like, like over like that, you know. I need to just grab one of these smaller eyes ones. Or, uh, I'll just grab a blank one of these things. You know, and it, and it would sit more looking forward, you know. Versus it being totally side of its head, because I always kind of looked at dragons as being like a front looking, you know, type of thing. So, but thanks. Yeah, they're, they're definitely cool. 
definitely turned out like way better than I thought they were going to. So I, I thank you for talking me into using using the glass eyes. Definitely was a, a good idea. And, and they'll look really good once we get them on here too. Like the, to get the look and feel of how he's gonna look. But I suppose I think that's gonna be about it for today. I, uh, I appreciate you uh, hanging out and stuff, watching me paint these eyes. It, uh, it's always nice. It's always nice hanging out too. Though. I appreciate you coming by and watching me. It uh, makes you want to keep doing it. You know. You have a great rest of your day too. Mind drop. Mind drops out of here.